Hi everybody, this is golf instructor Steve Bishop from the Gateway to Better Golf. And today I'd like to talk to you about a really important concept to understand whenever you're looking at your swing on video. With the modernization of, of golf instruction, uh, a lot of swings are obviously going on video. It's, it's been around for a very long time. Uh, but something that a lot of golf instructors and people who look at their swings on video don't seem to grasp is that the camera placement is extremely important. And the problem also is, is that you, you never really know if it's in the right place. Because what essentially you have to do in order to, know, to see this straight plane or on plane is that the camera lens has to be perfectly in line with the swing plane, okay? And that is, I'm gonna have this, uh, this little screen here to kind of illustrate. This is, a, you know, just to simplify things, this is a straight up and down plane, okay? And my club is traveling up and down it, back and forth, okay? Now, what's really important here is that if I drew a straight line continuing on from this screen, it would go all the way to the camera and through the lens. Okay, so the camera lens is on the same plane that I'm swinging the golf club. That's the only way it's going to look this straight, okay? It looks like one single line going up and down, okay, as I swing this golf club. So as I swing this golf club, we've got basically a straight line that's being drawn, okay? It's only because the lens is in the same plane. Now, there's a baseline to this, okay? If I drew a line down on the ground, okay, and I'm swinging and I'm covering this so that the tip of that club is going on that line, okay, there's a line drawn on the ground and I'm going back and forth on that line, okay, that's the plane line. Now the plane line is basically we want to orient it in the direction of our target, okay. Now our target may actually be left or right of where we want the ball to end up. Okay, so we need to understand that this plane line may shift a little bit. Maybe it's out to the right, maybe it's out to the left, depending upon what kind of shot we want to hit. Uh, you know, whether the ball's back in our stance or forward in our stance. This plane line is going to move a little bit. So this plane line is shifting around a little bit, and it may or may not be perfectly in line with the camera lens. And that's that's something we got to account for whenever we're looking at our swing on video, because. If the plane line is out here to the right, okay, and I'm swinging out to the right, that's going to give a completely different look relative to the camera. Because now, let's say I bring it into this delivery position where I am swinging out to the right. Okay, so I'm bringing it into this delivery position, and that club is about here. And a lot of golf instructors and people who, you know, think that they know something about the golf swing, including me, I think I know something about the golf swing. Well, that club head looks behind me and underneath the plane, because I'm thinking that my plane line should be out here. And here I am like this, so I'm way under plane. Okay, I'm under plane and I'm way behind. Well, no, that, that's not what's happening. What's happening is the camera is just simply on, you know, out a little bit to that side of where I'm taking the club. That's, that's everything, you know. If we, <laughs> I don't want to change my entire golf swing because on one video, you know, one shot of video, I see the club inside and going out and above plane. If I see that on, my, on, on video, there's a high probability that I or some other golf instructor is going to go, well, Doc, I, look at how underneath and how off plane he is. No. You're only swinging out to the left, out to the right, whatever. So here's our plane line, swinging out to the left, swinging out to the right. This also is important when you're looking at the transition because most of us have a shift. Almost everybody, I swear, like 99.9% .9 of all golfers out there have a shift in their plane. What I mean is, they may swing perfectly on plane, taking the club back, but then on the way forward, they may bring it inside, they may swing it outside. Very, very few people are actually on plane going back and on the same plane going forward. Okay. So, if I have my plane line shifted out to the right on my forward swing, as I'm swinging 
okay, forward. What's going to happen is the parallel position at the top of my backswing is going to be up here, and it's going to appear what looks like across the line at the top. So I'm all I'm doing, and remember, all I'm doing is I'm swinging out to the right. But to the camera, this looks like I'm, oh my gosh, he's across the line at the top. He needs to fix that. He needs to get more laid off. Well, how do you get laid off and still swing out to the right? I don't know how to do that because this is what swinging out to the right is. Now, here's what else is going to happen. They say, okay, well, he's across the line at the top. Then as he swings forward, oh my goodness, look how steep that shaft is. It's pointing down to the ground. This ball's out there. It's going, you know, almost perfectly vertical. Not really. It's still on the same plane. I'm just swinging out to the right. So now I've got that club pointing much more straight down to the ground, it looks like, to the camera. But if I tilt this, you know, that very well may be perfectly on plane. So, you know, if my golf ball's out here, okay, and there's my plane, and I shift it, now it looks like I'm way inside, doesn't it? And all that I've really done is change my swing plane relative to the camera. I could move the camera and do the same thing. So, here I am, steep. Oh, now I'm way inside and I'm dropping and I'm doing this huge manipulation, right? I'm just hugely manipulated because here I am going from across the line and I'm dropping straight down and then I'm bringing it inside and dropping underneath and then I have to have these really high hands and I flip through an impact and I get above plane, right? That's what you're going to hear. You're going to hear this all the time whenever you see your swing on, on, on camera like this. And all that you have to realize is that that camera is simply not in the same plane as where the club is being swung. If you can remember that, if you can look at your swing and realize that the camera is not perfectly on the same plane as where the club is being swung, you can still go and take a look at your swing on video and identify some things, okay? And, and that's, that's perfectly fine. I really advocate that you get your swing looked at on video especially in some of this high-speed video photography like I've been doing lately. Uh, it's very helpful, but you need to understand this thing called parallax, and that's what we're talking about, this where the camera is relative to where the swing plane is going is going to give you a completely different look to your swing. It's going to give you the false impression you're going to make changes in your golf swing because some golf instructor who did it wrong thought, you know, thought that, oh my gosh, he's way across the top, and then he's dropping it down. Or he's, you know, oh my gosh, he's laid off, and then he's coming over the top, and then blah, blah, blah. They, they just, they don't get it, okay? They haven't figured it out that the camera lens needs to be in the same plane as the swing of the club in order for any of that to be at all relevant.